Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Cliff and welcome to Urban Archery NYC. Now, not to get confused with the urban archery initiatives that are taking place in states like Virginia and North Carolina, where they're looking to control the growing deer populations out there. Urban Archery NYC is looking to serve two purposes, all right? First one being to educate new archers and potential bull hunters on what to do and what not to do when they're starting out based off of my own personal journey as I'm going to become a bull hunter. The second purpose is to shed a light on what the archery scene is like out here in New York City. I know when you think about archery and when you think about bow hunting, New York City doesn't necessarily come to mind, but I'm actually proud to say there are many avid bow hunters out here in New York. Now, a quick disclaimer, I'm not a pro, uh, I'm not a coach, I've never competed before, and I've actually never been hunting. But I do hope to become a bow hunter because I have a genuine love for the sport of archery and a lifelong goal of becoming a bow hunter. So I really hope you join me on that journey. Now, really quick today, what I want to do is share with you what my setup is, the bow that I'm shooting with. This is the Bear Archery Agent. Now, this originally came in a whole package that came with its own rest, a four pin sight, and so on, right? There are many bow packages that are out there. So one of the things that I learned when first purchasing this bow was bows are highly customizable, all right? So depending on what you're looking to do will determine on what type of bow you want to purchase. And then even once you've purchased that bow, you may not necessarily feel comfortable with what's on it or what you've initially chosen. So for example, my bow, like I said, came with a four pin sight and came with a rest. I switched up to a one pin sight, the HHA Optimizer Lite, and then I switched from a whisker biscuit rest to a QAD drop away rest. So I feel really comfortable with what I'm shooting right now. And I really hope that's what you guys do as well. Now, the biggest takeaway from this is when you're gonna purchase your first bow, do some research, get comfortable with the terminology, figure out what your goals are, what you're looking to do, target, shoot, bow hunt, and then ask questions. Visit pro shops, visit archery ranges, and try out a couple of bows, all right? And then depending on what you like, go ahead and snag that bow, all right? Now, I really hope you liked what I shared with you today, and I really hope uh, you'll click subscribe, follow me, and look forward to a lot more content. Also, I'm on Instagram, at UrbanArcheryNYC. All right? Have a good one.